isang uh, hepatologist sa uh, PGH at saka sa Medical City. Yes. Tama po ba? Siya rin po ang uh, peer Hello. of the board director of the Hepatology Society of the Philippines. Siya rin po ang uh, clinical associate professor of the UP College of Medicine. Wow. Sige po. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome po sa bahay. Good morning. Good morning. Kasi si Doc meron silang ano eh, event eh, yung World Hepatitis Day 2015. Pero before we move on to the event, we would like to uh, talk about muna. Let's go through the Hepatitis B. Uh, hepatitis. What is Hepatitis, Doc? Um, hepatitis is ano, yung parang namamaga yung uh, atay. Mm -hmm. um, so parang inflammation of the liver. Mm -hmm. Usually, um, kung infectious yung cause, um, yun yung mga viral hepatitis mm -hmm. na from... Uh, usually, parang siya alphabet soup eh. Mm -hmm. Hepatitis A, B, C, D, and E. Yun yung mga uh, well-known na uh, viral mm -hmm. hepatitis. So, gusto mo ba nakukuha yung hepatitis na yan? Totoo ba yung sa mga maruruming pagkain or sa maruruming tubig? Doon mo ba nakukuha yan? Bele, you can get hepatitis po two ways. Mm -hmm. Either through contaminated food and water mm -hmm. or through blood and body fluids. Mm -hmm. okay. So, yung sa... Uh, contaminated food and water, yun po yung hepatitis A, A. at saka hepatitis E. Mm -hmm. Yun namang uh, contaminated blood at saka body fluids ay B, C at saka D. Okay. Mm -hmm. How about po yung mga iba-ibang uh, types ng hepatitis? Short description lang po para al alam namin yung, yung, iba, yung A to A. Ano. Uh -oh. Sa ating bansa kasi, ang pinaka-common ay um, hepatitis B. Mm -hmm. Um, yun po yung parang it affects one in seven Filipinos. Um, and uh, yun po yung nakukuha mostly um, through blood and body fluids. Pero sa ating bansa, it's because it's usually transmitted at birth Ma uh, mother uh, from mother child. to child. So napaka-importante nung um, vaccination mm -hmm. within 24 hours uh, of birth. Mm -hmm. um, tapos, yung next most common sa atin, yun na siguro yung hepatitis A. Yun yung nakukuha sa yeah. contaminated food and Street water. Food. Um, and then, the other uh, more common would be hepatitis C. Yun po yung another uh, uh, infection or hepatitis na from mm -hmm. contaminated blood and mm -hmm. body fluids. Doc, ano yung physical manifestation nito? Totoo ba yung mga sinasabi na naninda mm -hmm. yung mata, uh -oh. yung, ano, yung balat mo, ganun? So, may dalawang uh, types of hepatitis mm -hmm. na syndrome. Yung una, yung acute hepatitis. Yun yung bagong uh, dapo lang yung uh, hepatitis mm -hmm. virus. Uh, may kadalasan pag... Uh, adult may symptoms talaga. Mm -hmm. Yun yung nanghihina. Parang may flu. Okay. Para pong may trangkaso. Uh, Tapos yung iba, naninilaw. Mm -hmm. Oo. And then, very weak, very tired, walang gana sa pagkain. Mm -hmm. um, now, nandun naman po yung chronic. Yung chronic, yun yung um, mm -hmm. mga types of hepatitis na hepatitis wow. B mm -hmm. at saka hepatitis C mm -hmm. na they can lead to cirrhosis po mm -hmm. or liver cancer. Yung cirrhosis, yun yung Masyadong mapeklat na yung atay, matigas na siya. Um, pwede rin manilaw ang pasyente Sorry, pag late stage. Sorry, nakakurious lang ako, bakit nagiging yellow yung mata or yung balat ng tao with hepatitis? Anong, anong reason ah, behind it? Ah, kasi yung, um, yung liver clears toxins po. Mm -hmm. no? um, so ang isa sa mga uh, uh, products ng ating katawan ay ang bilirubin na tinatawag. Mm -hmm. Uh, pag hindi po yun, pag may liver disease, hindi po nakiklear ang bilirubin. Mm -hmm. So kaya, uh, nag, yun ang nagbibigay ng yellow color sa eyes at saka sa skin. Mm -hmm. uh, Usually, di ba po pag sa mga newly birth na babies naman, uh, in-expose sila sa sunlight o yung bilirubin na, na parang uh, crib para uh, hindi sila manilaw? Yes, yun naman kakaiba yun. Uh, mm -hmm. Yun naman ay... Uh, the other type of bilirubin, yeah. hindi siya liver mm. disease. Pero pareho lang siya na, kaya naninilaw din yung mga newborns. Mm. So, paano ang treatment ng uh, mga taong with hepatitis? Oh. Sa, sa acute hepatitis, yung sinasabi kong bagong dapu pa lang, mm -hmm. naninilaw, mm -hmm. nagpa-flu-like nag symptoms, kadalasan po walang treatment. Supportive lang. Mm -hmm. Ibig sabihin, mag-rest, lots mm -hmm. of fluid, um, kung may lagnat, bigyan po ng um, paracetamol, um, and mawawala lang siya ng kusa. Mm -hmm. Yun pong dalawang hepatitis na sinabi kong may chronic mm -hmm. infection na naglilid po mm -hmm. uh, sa cirrhosis at liver cancer. Meron pong specific na antiviral po na treatment yung dalawang yon, Yung hepatitis B at saka yung hepatitis C. So mm -hmm. merong 
tableta mm -hmm. ang para sa hepatitis B. Ang hepatitis C dati may injection with mm -hmm. tablets, pero ngayon magiging available na po yung mga tableta din na very effective mm -hmm. for hepatitis C. Mm -hmm. But how long is the treatment? Um, that's a good question kasi ang hepatitis B po, when we decide na ang patient needs treatment, mm -hmm. By the way, not everybody needs treatment kasi lalong-lalo na sa hepatitis B. Siguro mga one-third of persons will need treatment. The rest, they can go on with their lives. Parang, and then maybe even most of them will not know na they had the infection. Um, pero those who will need treatment, uh, pag na-determine ng doktor na they need treatment for hepatitis B, uh, long-term siya eh. Uh, Doon sa may mga cirrhosis, um, lifetime treatment. Mm -hmm. Sa hepatitis B po, uh, depende sa gamot na magiging available sa atin, um, the treatment is from 12 to 24 weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, Doc, uh, sige, ang question ko lang po, Doc, kung, uh, di ba hepatitis A is uh, yung sa contaminated uh, food, food or uh, yeah. drinks, ano, pagka kunwari kumain ako ng madumi-duming uh, pagkain, malalaman ko na ba in the next few days na baka may hepatitis ako or ah. anong paano ko paano ko malalaman kung may, uh, infected na ako? Oh, may tinatawag na incubation period mm -hmm. kadalasan that's 30 to 60 days so the yung symptoms po uh, mm -hmm. pwedeng within 30 days uh, lumabas yung mga symptoms so hindi mm -hmm. necessarily na ngayon ka kumain nung may hepatitis agad, agad, A, agad-agad may mm -hmm. symptoms ka. Pwede pero kadalasan it's a few days or a few weeks later. Mm. I'll just ask one question. If you are a carrier of hepatitis B uh, for an individual, is it worrisome that you will transmit this to your offspring later on? Oo, lalo na yung sabi mo, okay, uh, uh, isang uh, individual who's, who's getting married who has hepatitis B kasi alam niya carrier siya. Is it worrisome that later on he will transmit it to the offspring na, ah, baka mag karon din sila ng hepatitis B or uh, later on baka mag maging cirrhotic or whatever oh. liver problem is that a problem that we need to address yeah um, so para sa uh, hepatitis B and transmission so contaminated blood and body fluids mm -hmm. um, kaya we always say na um, if you are a mother um, expecting to deliver mm -hmm. and dapat mas screen lalong lalo na sa Philippines because one in six to seven have the infection. Yes. Um, pag positive ang mommy, then um, the recommendation is definitely mabigay talaga yung bakuna uh, mm -hmm. within 24 hours of uh, birth of mm -hmm. the infant. Um, and for those na mataas po ang virus um, or meron pong HBE antigen na positive, may dagdag pa na recommendation na biglan po ng immunoglobulin. Mm. Um, so, very important, ma-screen yung mom para ma-prevent po yung infection. Pag nabigyan po yung infant ng ganung uh, uh, regimen, very little chance po na ma-transmit yung virus. Now, sa mag-asawa naman, um, kasi I think that's uh, very important in many mm. people's mind, um, kung alam mo na meron kang hepatitis B, uh, it would be uh, a good idea to have uh, the, the spouse or the would-be spouse or future spouse check. Mm -hmm. um, kung walang infection at wala pang antibodies, mm -hmm. ang maganda sa hepatitis B, merong bakuna. Mm -hmm. So, pag nabakunahan, um, protektado na mm -hmm. uh, from infection. Sige, very quick lang, ano, basta maklarify lang natin, hindi nakakahawa ang hepatitis B through what bawa inubo utensils, uh, utensils uh, uh, mga inupuan sa toilet yan kasi usually yung mga common misconceptions yes yes well not not sa food not hugging not even kissing mm. uh -oh. okay go ahead talia ayan meron po kayong event uh, yes Dr. um yeah Genius. we uh, meron po ka salamat for the invitation mm -hmm. to come um ngayong July 25 uh, 2015 sa St. Luke's Medical mm -hmm. Center yung Hepatology Society of the Philippines together with um, St. Luke's, mm -hmm. with Yellow Warriors, which is a patient organization of people with hepatitis, living with hepatitis B and C, at saka yung Coalition to Eradicate Viral Hepatitis in Asia Pacific. Um, we will celebrate World Hepatitis Day po uh, mm -hmm. on that day, and um, um, we will have 
free hepatitis mm -hmm. screening. Mm -hmm. um, there will be a clinic uh, where we can answer questions on hepatitis. May lay forum po, where we will discuss hepatitis infection and liver cancer. And then there will be games as well. Mm -hmm. um, so um, we hope uh, the public can join us um, in this celebration. Ano. Yeah, it's po, uh, open free, to the free, public. Free yes. Uh -oh. July 25, 8 a.m. And to actually, meron pang Indus. sorry if I can. Mm -hmm. dalawa, may, we also support uh, two other activities na may free testing din. Mm -hmm. Yung isa po sa Medical City sa August 1, mm -hmm. um, from 8 to 12, mm -hmm. there will be free testing as well. And then sa PGH, mm -hmm. uh, sa July 30, from 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So July 30, August 1, and July 25. Okay. We'll all see you there. <laughs> Maraming salamat po, Dr. Okay, thank you very much. Ong. Siya po isang hepatologist sa PGH at sa Medical City. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you.